So I spend a lot of time paying attention to all kinds of creatures, ants and grasshoppers and worms and everything. Suppose all the insects die today, in something like two and a half to four years' time, all life will cease. There is nothing here that is not valuable, everything has its value. From an early age, unfortunately, this is being imposed upon a child's mind that you have to be on top of everybody else. This is like, I want you to just imagine if this happened to other creatures, let's say it happened to the plants and trees and animals. If an ant wants to become like an elephant, that is going to be a terribly ant-elephant, isn't it? Suppose a mango tree wants to become like a coconut tree, it will be a horrible mango tree because with one branch like this, no mangoes will come out of this. A mango tree is like this, a coconut tree is like that. That's how it should be. This has happened because in so many ways people have put these things into your mind, what is good, what is bad, what is high, what is low, what is up, what is down. Because of this, you have never paid attention to every aspect of life in the sense. So I spend a lot of time paying attention to all kinds of creatures, ants and grasshoppers and worms and everything. If you observe, let's say an ant or let's pick up something little more than an ant, like a grasshopper, it's easier to see him. If you look at him carefully, whoever created this grasshopper has paid as much attention to your grasshopper as they have paid to this one. Please pay attention and see. When the source of creation has given equal attention to ant and you, who the hell are you to think an ant is a lowly creature and you are some superhuman being? Why are you making this judgment? Creation has not made this judgment. You may think you're superior simply because you're in a blatant manner, you're walking on this planet, but that's not true. The fact of the matter is like this. See, if all the worms on this planet, right now if all of them die, all the worms, in about twelve to eighteen months, all life on this planet will cease, everything, including you and me. Suppose all the insects die today, in something like two and a half to four years' time, all life will cease. But if all the human beings die, the planet will flourish. Yes, we make good manure. If human beings go away, right through this building trees will grow, isn't it? Yes or no? everything will flourish. So, who the hell is telling you that you are the most significant life? This idea that the cosmos is human-centric is a stupid idea. In this cosmos, even this solar system is a tiny speck. Tomorrow morning if the entire solar system evaporates, nobody will notice it. That's how small it is. In that tiny speck, Planet Earth is a micro-speck. In that micro-speck, Bengaluru is a super micro-speck. In that, you are a very big person with great self-esteem. <laughs> this is… this is not a simple problem. People suffer this for their whole life without handling it. This is all you have to know. Never look up to anybody and never look down on anybody, this is all. Never look up to anything, never look down on anything. If you see everything just the way it is, everything has immense value. Everybody has a place and value to their life, isn't it? Every creature has value. Because we did not realize that, how many things we have destroyed in this world? Simply because we think this is valuable, this is not valuable. There is nothing here that is not valuable, everything has its value.